Greetings of the day from Jobsite India. World Top News is a different kind of initiative from our end. Hope you all will enjoy. Along with this, the English learner can have a great practice from here as well as he will get world news. So, without further delay, let's move to our first slide. Daughter of Peru's former president losing by 0.4% in election. Lima, Peru. Peruvian socialist and school teacher Pedro Castillo was holding on to a slam lead over candidate Keiko Fujimori on Thursday morning. Castillo is an elementary school teacher who is waging her first campaign and had widespread grassroots backing. Meanwhile, about 3 lakh contestants votes are being reviewed by an electoral jury and could delay by several days the announcement of who won the presidential election. Let's move to our next slide. Hong Kong democracy campaigner Agnes Cho released early from prison. Hong Kong Hong Kong pro-democracy activist Agnes Cho was released from prison on Saturday after serving nearly seven months for her role in an unauthorized assembly during anti-government protests in the city in 2019. The 24-year-old activist had been convicted together with her longtime activist colleague Joshua Wang for their involvement in an illegal rally near police headquarters in the Chinese-ruled city. Let's move to our next important slide. Ecuador obtains money to begin COVID vaccination campaign. Quito, Ecuador. Ecuador has obtained $550 million in financing to begin its campaign to administer COVID vaccination to its population, according to Economy Minister Simon Cueva. President Guillermo Lasso, who was sworn in on May 24, has said the country will vaccinate 9 million people in the first 100 days of his administration. The government is currently negotiating to purchase vaccines from China and Russia, expected to conclude the coming weeks. Ecuador has a population of 17.5 million. Let's move to our next important news. G7 Summit Biden wants West to form alliance against China. US President Joe Biden is to urge Western countries to counter China's growing influence at the second day of the G7 summit and I told the BBC. At the meeting in Britain, President Biden is expected to call for a new alliance to rival Beijing's spending on infrastructure in developing countries. The US and its allies accuse China of forced labor and other human rights abuses in Jiangxing province. G7 leaders will also commit to a new plan to stop future pandemics. Let's move to our next important news. Tin, who filmed George Floyd's murder, given journalism award. A teenager who filmed the murder of George Floyd by a white police officer has been given a special journalism award by the Pulitzer Prize Board. Daniela Fraser, now 18, was awarded the Cytosin for her courage, the Pulitzer Committee said. Her film spurred protest for racial justice around the world and was used as evidence in that trial that convicted police officer Derek Chaubin. The Pulitzer's are the most prestigious journalism award in the US. Let's move to our next important news. Humpback, well, spits out lobster man. A lobster man in Cape Cod thought he had been attacked by a suck but realized he was in a whale's mouth. Michael Packard says he was diving when he ended up in the marine giant's mouth for about 30 to 40 seconds of Provincetown, Massachusetts. 
he stopped sight Kumit, who had been desperately scanning the water for telltale -tel bubbles for Mr. Perkins' oxygen respirator, hauled him back into the boat. Let's move to our next important news. Algeria election. Voting underway in parliamentary poll. Algeria is holding a parliamentary election that is being boycotted by an influential protest movement and regarded by many with skepticism. You won't change, cast your ballot, was this year's slogan, as the government fears a repeat of the historically low turnouts in, in the recent polls. More independent candidates are standing than ever, thanks in part of new rules on funding. And for the first time in an Algerian election, women make up half of the candidates. Election results are expected by Monday. Let's move to our next important news. Class 12 exams. India students face uncertain future amid pandemic. Earlier this month, Indian Prime Minister Narendra Modi announced the cancellation of key school living examinations. We were glued to our phones, waiting for the announcement on Twitter, 18-year-old Viswas Dubey told the BBC. He was among millions of students who were due to take the national school living tests. The examinations, popularly called boards, are crucial for students hoping to secure admission in some of India's most prestigious public universities. Let's move to our next important news. Tokyo Olympics Why people are afraid to show support for the Games? Japan is not a country known for protests, so when people take to the streets in large number, it gets noticed. The Tokyo Olympics up until the pandemic may have been an unlikely target, but with less than 50 days till the start of the event, the majority of the public say they want the games to be cancelled or postponed again. It doesn't mean, however, that they aren't supporters of the event. Recently, I received a passionate message on social media from someone in Japan who was in favor of the Olympics. Let's Move to our next important news. Virgin Atlantic Explores Flying Taxi Partnership Virgin Atlantic is exploring whether it could launch a flying taxi service as part of a partnership with Bristol-based Vertical Aerospace. The airline suggests electric vertical takeoff and landing vehicles EVTOL, could fly from towns to major airports. Vertical Aerospace is conducting test flights of its aircraft this year. One expert said the proposal was less radical than those of other air taxi companies, but argued there would be challenges ahead. Let's move to our ne next important news. French Open 2021. Novak Djokovic bets Rafael Nadal and faces Stefan Sissipas in final. Novak Djokovic ended Rafael Nadal's reign at the French Open with a four-set win in a classic semi-final which will be ranked among the all-time great matches on the Roland Garros clay. Serbian top seed Djokovic won 3-6, 6-3, 7-6, 6-2 6-2 against Nadal, champion in each of the past four years. Nadal going for a record-extending 14th title, lost at Roland Garros for only the third time in 108 matches. Djokovic, 34, must now recover to play Stefan's Sissipas in Sunday's final. Let's move. Thanks for watching till end. You are kindly requested to subscribe, like and share with your acquaintances. Don't forget to hit the bell icon for latest updates for mind. Till our next video, take care of yourself and have a great, great moment ahead. Thank you once again.